So with Grayson about to turn three in a month and Porter turning six months old in oh, almost a week, I've decided to start to switch out clothes. So I'm getting, I'm putting away all of Grayson's 2T clothes and putting away all of Porter's um, clothes that don't fit in three to six month and really six month clothes. And so I'm trying to put away old Halloween costumes so that when Porter gets old enough, he can wear them. And Grayson found it, and did he want me to put it away in the box? No, he wanted to wear it. So, <laughs> this is the last time Grayson's gonna wear Baby Shark. I'm sure when I get it out, when Porter gets old enough, Grayson will wanna wear it again, but he's just getting too big for it. <laughs> he wore this, not this past Halloween, but the Halloween before, so it's old. What, are you Baby Shark? What does baby shark say? Do, 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 do. What does the shark say? Mm -hmm. Jump, jump, jump. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah. Oh, the remote. Oh. Our remote. Oh, the remote. So funny that you found that. Found the remote. Yeah, you did find the remote. You found the remote. Yeah, you found the remote. When you wanna watch. So I've got Grayson dressed up as Baby Shark, and he's watching Pink Fong ABCs. I mean, you can't get more into Baby Shark than he is. It's so cute. So I kind of wanted to show you guys what I have, um, what I'm working with when I am changing out clothes. So I just have a bunch of boxes in my basement with different size clothes and that's where I store all the clothes that the boys aren't in right now. Um, basically I just have, like I said, a bunch of boxes and I label them like zero to three month or three to six or whatever and I just try to pack as many clothes as I can in there because it gets to be a lot. Like I have a lot of boxes downstairs. Um, and then I put, I just put boy on them even though I don't have any girls right now but I'm hoping I'll have a girl soon and so I want to know like what tins are boy clothes and which ones are girl clothes. A lot of them I get are um, clear tubs so I can see into it so I probably don't need to like say boy girl on them but I do anyway. So this is a uh, 24 month tin. I'm going to try to make it a 24 slash 2T month bin. Um, I already put some 2T clothes in there. I've been getting all of Grayson's summer outfits from last summer, all of his short sleeve shirts and his shorts. Um, his They are all 2T, so I'm putting them in there with the 24 month clothes. Also, I'm putting away his costume from last year, last Halloween. It was a firefighter outfit, and so 2T, so that won't fit him anymore. I also have a box in uh, or a bin in Porter's room, but he's taking a nap right now, so obviously I'm not gonna show you guys that. But right now I'm putting away his three to six month and maybe some of his six month clothes, and I'm getting out six month and six to nine month clothes so that he'll start wearing those. Um, I have gotten out um, pants, 2T pants, that I'm gonna have to put away, but I'm keeping them for now just because it's cold outside, so we are still wearing pants. And so I'm still having him wear 2T pants until like, next month and then I'll probably just put all that away and just transfer him to 3T. He can fit in most 3T pants. I have him wear 3T pants every so often. Um, they're just really big around the waist for him because he's so skinny, but the length is usually pretty good. It's when I put on the 2T pants that like the waist is really good, but then they're like high waters on him, so that doesn't really work. Felix is in his usual spot. For some reason, he thinks Grayson's bed is the comfiest thing ever. <laughs> uh, little does he know this is like an old mattress that my siblings and I used when we grew up but he thinks it's pretty comfy. Also I kind of wanted to talk about like what I do for storage for clothes just for like the clothes that Grayson wears. So I'm kind of like anal and I get really anxious if there's an outfit or a shirt that doesn't get worn as much as the other shirts. I don't know if that just makes me kind of weird or if that's like a normal thing, but basically I hang up all of the clothes, all of his shirts in the um, closet and that way I can see them, they're hung up and I just go through every day, I just go through the next shirt on the rack. For pants, I put them in just his dresser here and that way 
Um, you can put different pants with different shirts. Obviously, a lot of shirts can either have khaki pants or black pants or sweatpants or um, jeans, you know, whatever. And so I don't get too stressed about not wearing pants as much as I do with the shirts. Like, I feel like if he has a set number of shirts, we should go in that order of shirts. I don't know. I'm saying this out loud makes me probably sound kind of crazy also pajamas are the same way like I want him to wear all pajamas the same amount of times <laughs> I don't know this is so weird so I have all of his pajamas hung up too so that way I can see them all and basically like I just look and like so like tonight he'll wear um, his snuggle is real pajamas because those are next and then I just take those down and then I just keep going so then when I hang up the clothes I just put them at the back and then they just keep going I do hang up like nice shirts too but I don't have him wear those as often like I have really nice like shirts like this where they're like checkered like he doesn't need to wear that day today like if we have a nice event coming up or something then I'll put him in that but if it's just everyday clothes like he doesn't really need to wear that also I keep a bin of shoes here these are mostly like either old shoes or shoes that he just hasn't grown into yet so I put those there I'm taking down all of the 2t things that he does not fit in anymore and putting those away it's kind of bittersweet I always enjoy like the start of a new of new clothes just because it's like something new to look at and fun and Grayson loves taking the stickers off of all of his new clothes and putting them on him he's super into stickers so that's really fun but then it's also bittersweet because it's like he's growing up and getting bigger and he'll never wear these clothes again but then it's like well Porter will wear it when he gets to age it's really fun seeing Porter and Grayson's old outfits so that's really fun but yeah so just trying to stay busy I'm just trying to stay busy um, usually my sister Allison comes over on the weekends and helps me with the kids and she did come over yesterday but today's Sunday she has an event that she's going to boo so I am alone with the kids all day I'm having no help come Anthony's obviously working my parents are on vacation and like I said Allison has an event so I'm trying to keep busy um it's easy now when like Gray's watching a show and Porter is sleeping but it'll be it's always in the afternoons where it's hard so I'm thinking we're gonna go over to my parents house like I said they live like five minutes away I think we're gonna just go in their basement and play for a little bit they have a cute little train set and a bunch of books um and some toys in their closet so I'm sure I'll uh, record some of that but anyway I don't know if you find this interesting I find like organize organization really interesting so I just wanted to tell you like how I do clothes I don't know again I'm just really weird I I really it makes me anxious if he's not wearing all of his shirts the same amount of time <laughs> it just sounds weird but it's true do you guys have any weird like things that you have your kids do that like other people might not like even give a second thought to it but like it really is important to you let me know down below so we're just hanging in the playroom porter's still napping gray we've been working on smiley faces can you show me your smiley face <laughs> oh good job he's super into this toy that santa got him for christmas and it has a bunch of like stencils so you can like trace things and so he likes this little curved line here because it looks like a smile. And then I was like, you do a smiley face. Can you do a smiley face? Do a smiley face. <laughs> He's so darn cute. Oh, one, two, three, four. Can you do four? Four, five. Four frogs. Can Four you do frogs. five? <gasps> Can you do six? Can you do seven? Eight? Nine? Ten! <laughs> He's very into counting his fingers. Very cute. And he still sucks his fingers. I'm not sure when that starts to become a problem, but as you can tell, this is a 2T out uh, shirt and it's a little small on him. I just don't want to give it up. I don't want you to get bigger. <laughs> Hi. Oh, are you giving the baby hugs? Oh, is that your baby? Oh, oh, 
Grayson, we don't throw baby. Oh, oh, Grayson. Hi. Oh, no. He was just being so sweet and saying, I'm a big brother. And then I turn the camera on, and that's what I catch. I promise he does not do that to Porter. Porter. You are a big brother. You need to be nice to the baby. What is baby doing? What's baby doing? He sit on the couch. Oh, she's sitting on the couch. Are you gonna give her a hug? Oh. <laughs> That's a hug. That's a nice hug. I can't take him seriously in this baby shark outfit. This is Porter's first time in the swing. Yay! It's March 7th. He turns six months, one week from today. And he's in the swing. I'm just doing it just a little because he's kind of unsteady. <laughs> he is a little jealous. He wants in the swing. <laughs> you like it, Porter? Porter loves being outside. Loves it. He's going to love this summer. Well, Porter's taking a turn right now, and then we'll do Grayson, okay? <laughs> oh, the joy of sharing. Do you like the swing, buddy? Oh. All done with Porter? Okay. Come on. He's playing with it. <laughs> Do you like it, Porter? It's like it's sunny, Mom. Okay, Grayson is having a turn. He's getting way too big for this swing. I don't know what to do once he grows out of this. Because he loves the swing. I guess we just go to the park a lot. Because I think the next step is like building a play set. Or like a swing set. Which, that seems like a lot. Colors. But Porter loved it. Now Porter's just watching. Okay, so we made it over to my parents' house. They're not here. Like I said earlier, they're on vacation. Uh-oh. Oh, it's going slowly. It's stuck. Can you get it? Okay, sorry. I had to uh, rescue the train. Anyway, we made it to my parents' house. This is like their little playroom. They have like a little bench for you to sit on. They've got a little bookshelf with all these books you can read. This train set that my dad actually built and painted himself. Um, obviously not the tracks, but like the, the little box that it's on. And then it has each of my name and my siblings' names on it. We had this when we were growing up and now Gray enjoys it. And then there's a closet with a uh, bunch of toys. And then this is the best thing, is this like hanging swing. So fun to swing around in. So that's what we've been doing. We're just hanging out here for a little bit just to get a change of scenery. Porter was sitting in this little bear. You know, I always put him here and he can just sit up with it, props him up. So I'll put, and put a picture of that. He loves just sitting there. So we're just going to hang out here for a little bit, um, basically until dinner time. And then we'll head back, eat dinner, and then we'll have bath time. So. Oh, no, the train's in the water. Gray um, enjoys playing with this train set, which is super fun, but he can be a little rough with it. And so a lot of times I have to fix it. Like, he'll knock some of the blocks that are holding these train sets up. So... Just got to keep an eye on him. We're having bath time. We had fun at Grams and Grams house and now we're finishing the day up with bath time. Porter likes to um, chew on the little wet rag that I used to wash him with and suck the water out of. And Gray just likes to play with his little <clears throat> letters and foam numbers and all of that. All in all, it was actually a really good day. Um, we just kept busy. And even though I didn't really have any help today, I actually didn't have any help. I don't know why I just said I didn't really. I didn't have any help, 
but I survived and it's almost bedtime so we can put the boys down and then I can just chill for the rest of the night. Um, on my to-do list is I need to organize all of my breast milk. I have tons of bags in my freezer and it's some of it's going to start to go bad now that Porter's starting to turn six months old. So I need to organize it so that I use it before it goes bad. So that is my plan for tonight. It's super exciting. <laughs> I know. But I think that's going to be all for this vlog. I don't usually end vlogs because I never know if I'm going to like record more. But I think this will be it for tonight. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys had a great Sunday. And we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Grace, say bye. Say bye. Say bye, Porter. He's doing on a phone letter now. Yep, say bye. bye.